All right, let's see what we got in the black market. Let's see here. Uh, skins that I don't see. Still can't customize my shoulders or my face or anything like that. We've seen these before. A uh, stupid ass sticker. What? What's this? MX9. Isn't this the... What? Isn't this the pre-order bonus? This is the pre-order bonus. Y'all know what we're talking about today. Oh, Activision. We gotta talk there, buddy. This is a disgrace. This is pitiful. It's absolutely pitiful. It's f***ing ridiculous at this point. And I know everyone wants to know what I think about this. And we need to talk about this. Because this is this needs to be addressed. I still don't believe that this system is worse than supply drops. Because the way that the system is set up, it's better. However, what we get in these reserves and in these contrabands is fucking pitiful. And we're going to talk about some things in this video. Some things that are coming next week. And my thoughts about this whole fucking MX-9 thing, because it's fucking bullshit, and none of you should be buying this. None of you. I don't give a fuck if you are like, oh my god, I always wanted that variant. It doesn't fucking matter, dude. For $10, $10, which, by the way, back in Black Ops 2, we used to pay like $3 for camos. For $10, you get one variant and two camos for one gun. One gun. One fucking gun it's not like this camo can go on all the guns in the game and that's for 10 bucks that's like okay whatever still three bucks back in black ops 2 back in 2012 so guys l let me know down in the comments which game did you guys pre-order like which ed which edition pre-order bonus or like, like which edition of the game did you guys get because i got the standard edition because i knew this bullshit was gonna happen you guys thought it was pretty low that world war ii ended up putting in an essentially chrome type camo in the multiplayer in june after everyone was kind of done grinding for chrome you guys thought that was slimy nah man y'all ain't seen slimy yet these guys and i'm not even i'm not even gonna point fingers at treyarch because i really don't see treyarch saying let's put in the variants that were pre-order bonuses i really can't see developers saying that uh, number one i'm not uh, let me let me say this i'm not surprised by this I, I actually called this i said that they're gonna make this variant available to everybody via the black market and I, i'm not shocked about this like if you're shocked by this then you know like I, I don't know what to say it's getting old now it's getting old it's getting old of like all these like fucking ripoffs and, and anyone who pre-ordered anything from like gamestop or any of those places just to get you know variants and stuff like that it doesn't matter anymore like it doesn't matter they're available in the black market now so let me get this straight we had to pay 60 dollars for this game which is fine multiplayer 60 bucks with, with zombies and a possible campaign all right all right cool yeah full full 60 bucks awesome cool and then pre-order bonuses that's cool too i like pre-order bonuses that's fine there's nothing wrong with pre-order bonuses but you know what i do have a problem with i have a problem with pre-order bonuses being available after two months it's been two months since the game has been released two months and they're already allowing people to get pre-order bonuses or pre-order exclusives exclusive what's exclusive about everybody being able to buy the variant two months after the game's up like dude, like what, what, what's exclusive about that that's pitiful i mean it's absolutely pitiful like tell me someone tell me what what's exclusive about that there ain't shit exclusive about it bro i'm i'm tired of holding my tongue because like it's fucking bullshit and no one else is gonna say it so i'm gonna say it and i've always been that way you guys know me I, i've always i've never really held my tongue before so while there's a gunship in midair we're gonna talk about this too there is absolutely no reason why any of you guys should buy this this is as scummy as I've seen it. And we also, like I said before, we all saw Chrome basically come into the game for World War II. You guys wanna know what I think happened? I guarantee that Activision was like, you guys need to work on a battle royale. So what I think happened is that they had to stop working on multiplayer not i wouldn't say entirely but they had to give multiplayer the short end of the stick basically and that's why multiplayer is in such a shit state right now let me say this the multiplayer for black ops 4 has not been fun since that first two weeks and the only problems that i saw with the first two weeks of multiplayer like the gameplay the only things i really saw wrong with the gameplay those first two weeks where the smgs were not as powerful as they should have been nomad's dog was too op so it should have been nerfed very slightly and the nine bang was broken specialist as a whole that they, they bring this game down a little bit because you know newbie players can get kills really easily because of the specialist 
Let me tell you guys what I think happened with this whole variant thing. So I think that Treyarch was like, okay, let's make these variants, aka signature weapons, and let's put them in the game. Let's make them look badass. Let's give them two camos each. These players can get challenges and they can unlock them through challenges. Awesome. That's awesome. That, that's great. You guys remember when we would have two challenges for each signature weapon, one for the reactive camo and then one for the Mastercraft camo? Right. So like, that was a good thing to do. What I think happened was Activision ends up saying, oh, you know what? Well, we want you guys to make a BR game now. And, it, and they were like, well, okay. So they had to stop everything that they were doing for multiplayer, which was probably creating more signature weapons and, you know, balancing the multiplayer a little bit more. So I think that's what happened, number one. And because of Blackout, everything else is kind of getting gypped. That's why Zombies had so many bugs at launch. That's why the multiplayer isn't getting as much attention as it should as far as like, as far as Vonderhaar goes, because I know Vonderhaar pays more attention to Blackout because, you know, he's, that, that that's just what he's working on for real. I know that multiplayer's gotten a couple updates, so like, don't hit me with that in the comments. I'm talking about like, the players in Blackout ask for something and they get it. The players in multiplayer ask for something, we don't get it. Prime example, the players in multiplayer ask for a nerf on the nine bang or ask it to be retuned. We don't get it. Players in Blackout asked for a nerf on the 9-bang or a retuning. They got it. And they still have it because the 9-bang isn't in Blackout right now. So because Treyarch is working on Blackout all the time, I think that's one of the main reasons why the multiplayer doesn't have a lot of signature weapons. That's why in the first Contraband, we only had four signature weapons, three of which we knew of and only one that we didn't. And there's tons of people, myself included, who are above tier 200 and still don't have the, uh, the, what's it called? The, the boombox, uh, SG-12. Fucking ridiculous, in my opinion. That's, that's so bad. And honestly, like I said in the Carbon Cobra variant video, or discussing about that black market shit, that variant was done by the launch of the game. So essentially, there were five variants, besides the Strife and the MX-9, that were ready. And I don't know what possessed Treyarch to not put in the Maddox variant uh, for multiplayer. I have no idea. I wish I could tell you guys. I wish I knew what possessed them to not put it in. I truly believe that because of Blackout, we got gypped as far as content for multiplayer. And I will stick by that. And, and so, like, here, I'm going to segue into the next part of the video. So, basically, you guys know how, like, they're doing, like, the whole weapon variant. How You guys know how, like, they're doing the whole, um... So you guys know how the signature variants have been made available for COD points lately? And like how the variants that have been made for COD points are ones that we've already seen for pre-order bonuses and exclusives and things like that. Yeah, so y'all need to get ready for next week because I guarantee you we're going to get new weapons next week. And I guarantee you that they're going to be the MP40, the Galil, and like the LMG from Zombies. Basically, all the weapons that are available in Blackout at the Zombies locations, because all the models for those weapons are finished. Apologize and spare your company any further embarrassment. And I know exactly what you guys are gonna say. Oh, well, they can't put attachments on them. Yes, yes the fuck they can. It, it doesn't take a genius to figure that out. The MP40 was a, was a gun in Black Ops 3. It was just called the HD40. They put attachments on that joint. And World at War had perks like Double Tap, AKA Rapid Fire, and Bandolier, AKA Extended Mags. The Galil will definitely be one of the guns. I, I can almost guarantee that. The other rumor is that the Man of War and the AK-47 will be the guns that show up in the game. I don't care personally. I just care about if it's easy or hard to get the guns. And judging by the way this game is looking right now and how all this shit is playing out, it looks like it's going to be tough as shit to get them. The Black Operations Contraband ends on Tuesday. We're probably going to get a new Contraband and then we'll get new weapons in that Contraband. But if you guys noticed in this past one, you had to level up like 50 levels in order to get the first weapon and then you had to level up another 55 in order to get the next weapon and then you had to level up another 95 in order to get the last weapon and you were never guaranteed that boombox fucking SG-12 so like oh, I'm just sitting here waiting for the boombox so if that's what they're gonna do with the weapons like the new weapons in this game good god they're just asking for people to leave the game but then again Activision might make a lot of money doing it so you know what I wouldn't be surprised if that's how we saw the weapons available i wouldn't complain about the contrabands or the way that the black market is set up this year if we got good shit if we got like awesome camos 
and we got we there was plenty of weapons to choose from or something like that i would i would say something about the the tiers and how it's a little bit too slow but let me tell y'all something man if we could buy these variants outright just like outright just fine there would be no problem and i'm gonna tell you guys right now the weapons that we got in the first contraband will be available in the black market i guarantee it they will be available some not shortly but like i guarantee you they will be available at some point in this game's life cycle and you know what i'm gonna say this too because i don't really give a fuck at this point there are some people out there that will say oh wow unbelievable they made the mx9 available in the black market by itself for 10 bucks but then again they'll go and they'll spend 200 dollars on the fucking contraband back when it first came out then they'll promote call of duty points and they'll promote the black market just so they can get fucking flown out to activision those fake ass people and i know what you guys are gonna say you guys are gonna be like well back for the tactical unicorn variant you bought cod points in order to get the unicorn variant and you know what yes i did but what did i say in that video i told you guys do not buy cod points and do not do this. Just play the game and grind because there will be events like the double tier events and things like that. And if you play enough, you'll end up getting it. I told you guys, don't spend COD points because they are a scam. That's the difference. I make you guys aware of the scam and I'll sacrifice myself. Whereas other people will tell you guys to buy this shit and they will tell you that it's worth it. Fuck that shit, dude. I mean, I, I I might be pissed off and I might be like like getting a little heated right now, but I'm telling y'all, man, shit is not worth it. Not for one variant. We used to be able to buy camos for every single gun for two to three dollars, but it used to be two ninety nine, and now we're spending ten dollars for two camos in one variant. No, what the fuck is that, dude? Like, if we got about like four camos for ten bucks and maybe like a weapon variant or something like that, ten bucks for that. You know how many people would buy that? How many people would, like, fucking profit off of that? How many people would be like, damn, like, th that's fucking awesome. That's a great deal. Let me go get that. It's not good business because it turns a lot of people away from the game. I don't know if they've noticed that or not, but, like, it turns people away from the game. <sighs> I can't say I'm shocked about this, to be honest. So, now in the black market, for contrabands, you can get a package deal for the next, I don't know, it says for the next four, basically five days. You can get five tiers for 300 COD points, 20 tiers for 1,000 COD points, or 50 tiers for 2,000 COD points. So, I mean, like, that's better than paying, say, I don't know, if you go through, if you want to pay through 50 tiers, you're going to have to pay 50 bucks. And instead of 50 bucks, it's only 20 bucks now. But still, man, still. Like, why isn't there an in-game currency that can, you know, help us with this instead of just cod points like why does there have to be cod points in order for this to happen why can't there be an in-game currency like depot credits or armory credits or whatever they're a business i get that but this with the mx9 with the maddox with the strife it's just all happening at once in a two to three week span all of this has happened and it's just it's insane man it never stops. It's not that big of a deal because it helps people get through tiers faster instead of paying more money. So like, it's better. However, the premise behind it is still money, 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 money. They can't have enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I This actually just came up. I was finished editing and like this came up. So I figured I would talk about it real quick. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do appreciate it. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you guys uh, did enjoy. And uh, yeah. See you guys later. Goodbye.